me talking to us. Me talking in Shama. In the backyard. Hi. I come for a meal. Got a special down here. Happened to have a few mealworms on my pocket. Ooh, there's a different Shama. Hi. Hi there. Here's the king. This is Bird. That's actually, that's actually a different one over there. It's, oh, we've got a, we've got a Shama fight. They're mad. That is uh, the aptly named Tits, which is, uh, used to have a beautiful bikini top pattern on top. Hi, Tits. Grab some. Grab them while you can. Yeah. Your crazy dad will be over in a second. Hi. Oh, hi there. Hi, crazy dad. Hi. Hi, bird. You're pretty. Yes, you're a pretty bird. There you go. There's another one over here, too. Which one is over here? Come on. <whistles> Who we got? I'm just taking a walk in the yard. I didn't know if I was even going to be encountering any shamas. What we got? Oh, here you go. Is that birdlet? Or no. That's Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. Fluffy, come on. Fluffy. Come on, Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. Fluffy's the young, youngest uh, chick. The female has never seen me down here before, but knows me. Hi, Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. Fluffy's a little slow compared with the others. Oh! And it can easily be chased away by her psycho dad. But she just was. Hey, bird, want some more? Hey, bird. Come on. Bird. Bird doesn't like it when I take out the camera, which is actually my cell phone. Bird, want some more? Here you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Get some more. You've earned it. And apparently have pissed off Fluffy, your youngest squab. See, this is Bird's kingdom down here in the lower yard. We're normally not down here. He used to yell at me like I was a cat or something when I was down here, but he's finally learned to coexist and does allow me to walk down here. He's chasing away his youngest daughter again now. Okay, well, that's probably about it. I actually didn't expect to be shooting much video down here. This is just the lower yard, which is pretty. We've got, uh, I don't know if you can see them, we've got avocados hanging, we've got star fruits galore up in here. Oh, am I being paged again? Oh, hi. Fluffy. Fluffy. Fluffy actually does know the name that I call her by. Hey, Fluffy. And she'll be chased away soon, too. Oops, who's that? Oh, that's Tits. Hi, Tits. Her big brother. Hey, Tits. Or is it? No, maybe that actually, with that coloration, actually I see her mom. No wonder they're not fighting. Although her mom will get mad at her in a minute. This is her mom, Birdlet. Fluffy still thinks Birdlet should be feeding her, but it doesn't happen often. Hi, guys. So, the two female shamas of the yard at this point in time. Only one will probably be staying. Oh, yeah, there we had Fluffy told off by her mom. Like, go find your own food. I kicked you out of the nest a while ago. Hey, Birdlet, I should have brought more of these down, huh? They're a real hit among the local bird fauna. Hey, Birdlet. Hello, Birdlet. Yes, I don't come down here to your kingdom very often, do I? Next time I come, I'll have to bring more reconstituted Chinese mealworms. Wouldn't you say? 
Bridlet doesn't sing much. She can sing like a, well, like a songbird. But she normally doesn't. She'll say a little foo. Oh, she wondered about me saying foo. Foo. And we'll talk to us in other ways, but she'll, she only really lets out with fancy shaman calls when she gets pissed off at one of her family members. Hi, Birdlet. Hi there. Now, we've known Birdlet now for two years. They can live five years and actually can live longer in captivity, so if they keep getting meals from us, maybe she'll live a fair bit of time. Hey, Birdlet. You're looking better since you're recovered from your molt. Hi. Hey, little birdie. Hey, little birdie. How you doing? Hey there. Hi. His phone is literally four inches away from her. And it was focusing okay a second ago, but now she's blurred out again. There we go. Hello, Birdlet. Hello, Birdlet. I have no idea what she thinks of this. She actually talks to us and tells us to do stuff more than the others do. But she's shy in her way. She's shy around other birds, too. But she knows we're friends. Don't you, little critter? Hi. Yes, you're a little critter. That's what I said. You weigh only one ounce. Being trepidatious about other birds flying around down there. Not so much trepidatious about the giant ape she's sitting on. Hey, Birdlet. She had a hair stuck in her beak this morning and she allowed me to take it out for her. So she's got a fair bit of, uh, I don't know if comfort's the word, but uh, yeah, a fair bit of comfort around me in terms of not wondering if I'm trying to do bad things to her. And she'll do this. After she eats, sometimes she'll just hang out on my hand for a long time while my legs cramp. <laughs> just thinking her bird thoughts and scanning the world. Come on, focus. There you go. So, Birdlet, what's going on in your jungle? We've got star fruit lying on the ground around us here, but those aren't really good for a bug-eating species like Shamas. And as popular as I am, there must not be a ton of bugs out here at this point. Well, Birdlet, this is not a very kinetic video. What you think? What you think, little critter? Little bright-eyed critter? Don't mind my phone being three inches away from your face? Hi, it's me. I'm behind the phone. Still, hi. Hello. Semi-cheap phone that will apparently not focus that closely. There we go. There's a little birdie eyes again. Hi, Birdlet. Hello, Birdlet. Happy to visit you in your jungle. You and your brood and your psycho mate. Hi. Hello, little birdlet. Yeah. This is how to do shaman research, by the way. You just make friends with them and then watch them. Hi there. You know, I'm getting a cramp in my left hip, so I may have to move and go away. Birdlet would be fine just hanging out here on my finger indefinitely. Well, the mealworms she ate a while ago worked their way through her alimentary canal. Hi. Hi, Birdlet. 
Yeah, you're a good little birdie. You're a good little birdlet. Hi. Hey there. Yes, that's a good birdie. Hi. Well, how you how you guys?